Mission file 02546. Eight days ago, contact with Galactic Federation Trooper Squad Rubble was lost. Contract agreement. Locate Federation Troopers and render assistance. Data confirmation. Last transmission received from a rogue planet located in the Dasha region called Aether. Uploading the last milk order is now. Loading data. Scanning. Target found. Analyzing. Light path set. What's up, music peeps? I'm Chris, Dre Musician, and this is Metroid Prime from... Whoa, hang on a second. What's up, music peeps? I'm Chris, Dre Musician, where gaming's my instrument, what's yours, and the instrument I'm playing is Metroid Prime 2 for the Nintendo Wii. That's a lot better. Anyway, what's up? It's kind of been a while. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 has just ended, and I haven't, uh, I haven't really played anything or recorded anything in a while because of it. So... Samus is gonna ship crash, all that jazz. But anyway, if you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Chris. I am a uh, DJ musician. This cha this channel, it's not really leaning strictly towards like certain content at all. It's just me playing kind of random games, mostly Nintendo games. And yeah, this is. This is kind of a little bit awkward for me because I did record 20 minutes of gameplay before, but for some reason I was using OBS and for some reason after I got finished recording it cut off the second half of the recording session or that video and yeah, so I had to kind of record it over. But anyway more information about me I am a senior at college and I'm in computer science and I'm currently in three computer science classes so it'll be really busy for me so kind of that's why I kind of wanted to record a lot of things ahead and let the channel just take care of itself but for the time being there might be uh, scare like videos might come scarce uh, I try to at least have an abundance of Mario Kart videos uh, kind of scheduled. What's this? Oh wait, I have to... Wait, no, that's in the next section. Anyway. I also do Mario Kart live streams every now and again, just so I can uh, edit it and put it on YouTube to let you know, just to let the channel take care of itself once again. I also like to live stream myself playing R certain RPG games and also put it on YouTube. However, Evolution Worlds is probably going to take a while until the next, uh, whenever that, whenever that, like, whenever the latest video comes in. It's going to take a while for new episodes to get on because I'm trying to 
go ahead and get this started too. Once again, I'm in three computer science classes, so that kind of goes first or else I won't graduate college. <laughs> That's pretty much how things go with that. Also, I kind of tend to follow, not really follow, but like, I kind of try to, I think those are splinters. Whoa. I like to reference other Let's Players and things of that nature, so if you, if you hear me say something that is quite familiar because you probably heard it from another Let's Player, that's probably what that is. So I might reference, uh, like, say I go to the save point and I say only you can prevent lost save game data. You'll notice that that's probably something from the King Nappy, and that's usually because I watch them as well, so be on the lookout for that, which I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. Alright, so, so far Samus is kind of investigating what's going on. She sees a bunch of dead GF troopers and a bunch of splinters just scattering around and whatever. And also, as you notice, I scan lore, but I don't really read it. Uh, if I'm curious, if I'm more curious about it, then I'll go off screen and not really off screen, but I'll go off recording and read it myself. If I really want to know what's going on. Other than that, I really don't like to read lore on video because it kind of takes up too much time. Takes up too much time for the action, and I know you guys want to see action, so there you go. Also, shout out to my phone that likes to ring every now and then. Oh dear, I forgot about these. <coughs> Alright, so these are kind of the first enemies that we fight that actually attack back. And these are Dark Troopers, which are pretty much GF Troopers that somehow got contaminated. We'll have more on how that is later on. Uh, there's like a story element that explains what's going on. I'm not really going to uh, go into that much detail. Metroid Prime 2 is a big game, so as much as... As much as I like to at least get as many items as I can to get closer to 100%, there's kind of there are no promises that I'll reach 100%, and there are probably no promises that I'll reach even be so far into the item collection because it kind of takes up a lot of time, especially since Metroid Prime, it, uh, Metroid Prime 2, 2 is a really big game, like larger than Metroid Prime itself. At least that's how I feel because. Uh, not only that you're going, uh, that you're taking elevators to worlds and doing stuff there, but there's also this dark counterpart, uh, counterparts, and there are some items that can only be found in certain places. And sometimes I don't know, uh, like, kind of how to abuse certain parts of the game that allows you to help, help, uh, help out. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of a spoiler alert here pretty soon, so uh, be ready for that. As soon as I step into the portal, actually never mind, anyway, there's going to be a bit of spoiler alert, so if you don't want to hear about it, then too bad, because a lot of you guys know that I did not get a 100% uh, ending in Metroid Prime. So I'm going to explain this uh, next part. So in case people don't know what happened in Metroid One, Prime, Metroid Prime that kind of brings in the story element of this character that we're about to see, then I might as well go ahead and tell them. So as you notice in Metroid Prime, as soon as Metro, uh, sorry, Samus defeats the Metroid Prime, it kind of absorbs uh, Samus's. Phazon suit and if you get the 100% ending that character is born that's really the Metroid Prime 
that, whoa, anyway, that's really the Metroid Prime who has taken Samus' phase on suit and take form of that. So, there's your, spo uh, there's your spoiler. Now, I don't know how that crystal, anyway, I don't know how the crystal broke, whether it ran out of power or Dark Samus destroyed it. I don't know what's going on with that, so. There you are. Alright, so for those of you who decided to skip on ahead, um, not much really happened. Samus went to go confront the mysterious character and well what <clears throat> oh yeah I don't have bombs anymore anyway Samus decides to confront the mysterious character and then whoa. I completely forgot what I was going to say and how I was going to say it There is a save room over here. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I'm... My mind's a bit blank. Samus decides to... confront the mysterious character and ends up losing all of her items. A bunch of mysterious characters kind of stole her items from her as far as like certain features that you saw earlier go on the screen. Like, you can see that missiles are gone, space jump is gone, things of that nature, so there you go. Also, you've probably seen that in um, a few recent Mario Kart videos and uh, Evolution Worlds videos that I've implemented a face cam. The only reason why I'm not doing that here is because, for one, the last time I recorded this, uh, tried to record the first 20 minutes of this, it, I was using OBS, which allowed me to put face cam in the video, but OBS kind of decided, uh, you don't need the last 10 minutes of that video. We're just going to cut it off for you, so I'm using Elgato because I know Elgato won't cut off those last sec uh last few seconds of the video or whatever <clears throat> like it's the first time forever since i've like dealt with obs and streaming and everything and everything but i decided yeah whatever so as you notice we have this little gate here but for some reason this right here is an alien text and we don't know how to translate it like we can't translate it <clears throat> there's there's a element in the story later on which will pretty much allow us to read that I'm not really I know what it is I'm not gonna spoil it we'll just uh I'll just talk about it when we get to it the green crayley okay so that wasn't a splinter then Also, in the regular Metroid Prime 2, as far as like scanning all of the um, Federation gadgets and whatever, um, I had an experience on the GameCube version where if you don't scan those items before you interact with them, then it'll, you pretty much won't be able to scan them at all. But last time I was actually, I actually found out that you can scan them even after they've interacted with. Which is kind of weird to say the least. Let me make sure it's not lore. Yeah, that's lore. There's like Force 1 and Force 2. I think Force 1 stayed within a certain area. Force 2 was kind of out and about. Alrighty, and we've finally reached the temple grounds. 
but there is a certain sort of gate once again that we can't read because we don't have the technology and we also don't have the technology anyway so this door the missile blast may damage it but thanks to those weird creatures we kind of we're kind of prevented from yeah anyway Uh, oh crap. I was meaning to scan that. Those, uh, things. You know what I'm talking about. Those. Cocoons. Apparently we can scan these. Wait a minute, did I not scan those earlier ago? Or maybe I scanned them, but... I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, thanks, for, thanks to the cable being all frayed and whatever, we were able to... get it off of the cable, or get the huge container off the table. Table, cable. Denzium is the same thing as Bedesium in Metroid Prime, which means we need power bombs, but we probably won't get those until really later in the game. And now at this point we cannot turn around because the gate closed and to get out there we need space jump, so stop it. Hey now. Hmm. There's more lore. <clears throat> so, I kind of really don't get the concept behind that thing. I think that is. I think that's the troopers, uh, like, means to, dark trooper anyway, that was the troopers means to communicate, but thanks to the atmosphere, it kind of, you can't, they kind of can't communicate out, and I believe I know why, but I'm not going to get into that until, once again, we face a certain story element, so. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, did the troopers do that? Or did the Athean creatures do this? There's another war. Yeah, this gate's messed up, but that's alright. Alright, so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here because I believe there's like this like kind of storyline that kind of happens so I don't want to run over. Also, in this video, I, right now I'm doing one recording session which probably involves like two or three videos, but uh, if you guys tell me if you want 20 or 30 minute long videos by the next time I do a recording session then I'll be able to at least know, you know, the preference or whatever. Anyway, I'm, I'll go ahead and let you guys go for now. I'm Chris J, musician. Gangsman Instrument, what's yours?